<laughs> Welcome back, guys, to Imperfect Perspective with myself, Javonda, Anya, and Rios. Let's go. Episode three. Three. Triplets. <laughs> Twins. Triplets. The slick back bun baddies. Yes, you guys and are. And daddy. <laughs> <laughs> slick back daddy. <laughs> A pimp named Slick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. So, how are you guys doing? How's everything going? My allergies are kicking my butt. Well, allergies are kicking everybody's butt right now, actually. Mine, yours, the kids mm-hmm. on the sports team. Mine teams. lasts uh, the whole entire year. All, all year. You, you're just... <laughs> messed up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you have good news. You're in a good place. Yeah, I do, but I, listen. We don't have to share. <laughs> no, but. listen, listen, listen. I, I, I will share it one day. I promise to share it one day, but I cannot share it right now. But great news. No, there's a different three, little, Episode there's, three is a lucky episode. Oh, yeah. Three, like a, three is my favorite number, so lucky her three. Look at God. Oh, yeah. Three's my favorite number. But also, oh. Yeah. Here five. Three times. Oh, she's not a gang member. She what, wouldn't know that. No. Hey man, keep is it that, keep it clean. I'm just saying, you just did some thug shit right now. I don't know a lot. I'll take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. So so are you, pretty sure you just got put off. Are you? <laughs> see, see, see. I don't know a lot. Uh, I don't know a lot, but I know enough it's to okay. keep it safe. You're from the South Bay. You have. <laughs> we're doing three for favorite numbers. Yes, that's my favorite number. Yes. Yes. Um, but there's a glow about you. <laughs> I am not pregnant. There will be no babies popping out in nine months. Relax. There's a, there's a glow about you. Look at it. Look at that. Look, at, the, look at those eyes, you cheekbones, and everything. The girl in the sun is flawless. It's just the way I am glowing. Good. Good. I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you're glowing. You're glowing as well. Uh, that's because it's. The sugar cookie season that I'm just getting lighter. <laughs> I, I was just mad this morning. Wait, was, do you call it sugar cookie season, Christmas season, holiday season, sugar cookie season? I start getting white. Do you have a, a weakness for sugar cookies? No, I just, my skin turns, turns, turns white. white. Yeah. You're like my, my, you and my daughter's hair are like the same tone. Uh, but I'm dark she's, skin. She's a little darker than you. No. We're coming in hot today. I, just I, would, I would say like a beautiful porcelain. No, because... <laughs> <laughs> he said, kind of like a geisha girl. You just... <laughs> just say... Just turn her color to a whole like, water shade. I would just, say like a glowy he's, porcelain. He's, <laughs> it's giving eggshell. That's wild. Why do you- <laughs> I'm just playing because I've 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 fought with that my whole life as well. Yeah, you know no. What I, mean? like- I woke up this morning. I was like, Ugh. And my mom was like, "What?" And I was like, "I'm white." <laughs> and she was like, "Your your dad was definitely white." I'm like, "No, uh, look at me." <laughs> look oh, at she me. thought you were mad culturally. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, babe. <laughs> like, he's like, uh, you've been, mm. you've been white <laughs> since you were born. It might be years. a benefit. Trump's the president. <laughs> <laughs> like, you might win a few, lose a sub. It's all good. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You're glowing. I can't complain. I am so happy with what we are creating here. What me and Luck are also creating with relatable and imperfect perspective. And see, she's darker than you. And um, <laughs> that's because she plays sports outside. If I played sports she outside, play that's it. That's literally the only oh, reason. Oh, is that why we're limping? Yes. Yep. Okay. So that's why she's home today. She twisted her ankle last night. Hi, Zaya. Did you guys win? She was at practice. Oh. It was at practice. So she's got a doctor's appointment at two today. Hmm. So, but that's what's going on. But I'm just happy. I'm excited for what we're building as a team. You know what I mean? As a whole, we're doing some good stuff. And we're just being good people. You know what I mean? Like, we're not doing no negative shit. We're not being ugly. Don't look at me like that. Because I can hear your halls going... <laughs> in your I see. <laughs> <laughs> I throw I'm it trying, in your tongue. I'm trying to get it. No, because it's going to make my nose run. So I'm trying to... Yeah, do the chew. We'd rather have a chew than sniffles. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's me. But I'm I'm happy. Oh, Ace Boys Worldwide is now... We did a, a Monday episode. Um... With Little Veda, so we usually just did Friday nights. Now we're doing Mondays at six. It was our first episode and went really well. 
um, has Lil some highlights. Beta, the rapper. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I used to listen to that music when I ran. Oh, do I you? I no longer be running. Hey, look, so. hey he's got the ratchet like, music. <laughs> I don't know none of the words, so I just be like. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> the beat. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. So Lil Vader was there, and then one of the things that made me happy was, you know, I'm I'm an older dude, like I'm 43, and just looking at these younger younger men growing up and going through life and like being successful and going after what they're going after, but he's still keeping his himself humbled and like giving back. So he's coming out with a, a clothing line, which I thought was dope. Was called F Cancer. You know what I mean? So and it's giving back to. Uh, donating back to the cancer research and stuff like that. It's and so. it's like, as he's reaching these heights of success, he's still thinking about how to help, how to impact. Yeah, mm-hmm. And I just thought that was super, super dope. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in a good place, good spirit. So with that being his um, new endeavor, why that? Like, who, it, who was impacted? It, I, I, don't want, I, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but a close family member okay. of his okay. passed away from cancer. Okay, okay. <clears throat> My okay. grandfather passed from, both grandfathers died from cancer, one from bone mm-hmm. cancer, one from prostate cancer. So it's mm-hmm. like something near and dear to me, mm-hmm. as, dope, as well as the, all the ace boys. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it was dope to hear that, you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. yeah, I'm feeling good on a high note. And then... People are loving the show. People are loving you guys. People are loving Thank us. you guys. Yeah, they're loving us. Yes. But you guys definitely bring. It was my. Everybody don't love me. <laughs> eight. But... Eight. <laughs> we will start. I, we not. Because I want to. Because I want to. We not going to start. Her fans is acting out. I'm going to just say that. Her fans is acting out. Her fans is coming hard with the complaints. Are they? I said it. It's okay. It's almost like they don't even know me no more. <laughs> <laughs> In quote. <laughs> so wait, are these fans people that you've interacted with? They're upset with you? And why? They asked him, what was the complaint? Maybe start start with seeing me pop up on their feed. That's probably that's probably one. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. Not sorry. Um, it's two, gonna happen. Maybe not being with them. Ah, <laughs> possibly. I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure. <coughs> and then three, just maybe having a male um, co-host. Yeah, you know, I got that energy, man. You got that alpha energy. You know, some niggas can't handle it. You know what I mean? It's all good. But if a nigga can't handle you being on a show yeah. with a man in the house with his wife and his daughter and kids, <laughs> gives a little winky energy. He doesn't, he doesn't even. <laughs> <laughs> he, he or they, I don't know. I want to say they, <clears throat> they just don't like it. It's all but, good. But I don't care because yeah. they're not my Daddy. husband. Oh. Same. Interchangeable. Interchangeable. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It is. You're not yeah. my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Mm-hmm. Also, not husband, my husband. Daddy. Yeah. Oh, oh, not dad. Like figure, like real dad. Oh, well, you're saying. <laughs> interchangeable. Like, okay, okay, interchangeable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> did you feel a certain kind of way about it? Did you feel like? Wait. That's one thing about me. I don't know. Okay. Because that's your opinion. Right. And you're not my husband. Right. So. And you're not out here doing anything bad. First of all, we're talking life. This is like such an adult show. Right. Like <laughs> it's it's so adult on here. Like, right, come on. Like yes. I'm just talking. That's he just gonna have to get and if that's a friendship that no, you do we don't, value. We don't know. Oh. Well it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It says what Susie says about Sally says more about Susie than it does Sally. And the seashells. Yeah. Like <laughs> get lost. <laughs> get lost. <laughs> so yeah. are you guys ready for Thanksgivings? Okay. Thanksgivings. Is it? It's no, it's, thank, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Or yes. is it Thanksgivings? Are you ready for Thanksgivings? Or no. I are you ready for Thanksgiving? Yeah. yeah. For me, this year I'm not. No? It's been a rough on me. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I'm in a different place this year. Why are you laughing? I'm not laughing. She, you are. Just, they can see you. No, no. That was not a la- 
she's getting saying. ready for her for her re, her re, reply. You know how like you get ready to read the no. when you're about to read in the room <laughs> no. and you get ready like okay it's my turn. No, I my head. You know I have ADD. My head is all over. Okay, the place. just say your ADD real quick. What was your yeah. ADD? Oh, I had three things. Okay, there's a number three in there. We're on three episode. I thought that was cool. He said Thanksgivings, and I was like, is it multiple giving? So it maybe it is supposed to be an S. Also, it says the Tao of sexology, and I thought it said something about taco of sexology. <laughs> <laughs> my ADD is, is and it's fire. Rough. It's fire. It's today right now. It's, a, it's a rough morning for me, so don't even pay it, me no mind. <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. Okay. It's a great balance. Like, it's great content. Because you really peeped the three and you really did see Tao Sexology. I thought yeah. it said taco. I yeah. said taco. I was like, oh. I was like, oh. Huh, my taco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, oh, I never done that before. <laughs> Who wants to eat my taco? <laughs> I'm on a journey. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Celibacy. Let's go. Now back to you. Back to that was just an ADD moment. Team you, tag team yes, moment right there. Tag team. ADD tag hey. team. I took a breath out. I'm sorry. You I'm have sorry. to do a lot of usage. Over here, dude, yeah. it's, it's her teacher in so her. She's gonna be like, shut up and sit down. <laughs> shut up and sit down. In, in class, I literally take a moment. Okay, guys. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clap. <'Cause> Clap once <laughs> if you can hear me. Because clearly you're not paying attention. Clearly, Quite clearly. But okay. So why are you not ready for Thanksgiving? I think I'm just in a different place this time. Around. What place are you in? You know how you know how I'm happy. Yeah. I'm also sad. <laughs> okay. Well, you are dealing with passing of a family member recently, yeah. and that's a that's a balance there. You know what I mean? It's just like, a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I think the holidays this year because I'm so old. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, I feel like I have a lot of family members and we usually do a lot of things together, which they're still doing. Um, I just want to, don't know what I want to do, but very much just like, I don't have a, my own separate family, so I don't have any kids. Okay. So it's like. Like no immediate family yeah, of your own. And yeah. It would just, it hit me like, oh, you don't have any immediate family, like of your own. You're old. This is weird. You should enjoy remember, it. Remember, no, I am. Oh, you should enjoy you it. You know that I'm enjoying Be it <laughs> because the thing is, like, that comes with a lot of work, a lot of oh, like, no. like. I'm very thankful and grateful because I would have not been able to live the life that I have been able to live. Yeah. If it was different. But the duality of like, but damn. And I think I it's do, just because yeah. I'm getting older and mm -hmm. I've done a lot of things. Yeah. I've had a great time. But you're actually. Young, you're not old. No, okay, I'm young, but... young. And the thing that have you noticed people saying like that the younger generation under us is not looking as good as us? Have you seen that? Yeah, they're living. They're living fast. They're it living a fast life. Too fast. Too fast. A lot of drugs. A lot of fast. So we have a lot to be thankful for this year. Yeah, we have a lot to be thankful for. No, I'm very thankful. I'm thankful for my looks. Just one. <laughs> I don't know how to compliment you respectfully you know, when your when your wife's there. Like I don't know. Like it just feels. I don't know. I compliment I, myself. Yeah, you're like, damn fine, Rios. <laughs> Doing a good job. You look good, healthy. A little fat, but not too fat. Perfect. <laughs> you know? He says you're perfect. <laughs> I'm perfectly perfect. <laughs> it's my perspective of yes. me. Yeah. It's mine. No, it's great. Okay. okay. Yes. Jeez. I support you. No, I am very grateful, though, and I'm happy. I just was, you know, feeling a little different this time. But I'm not really ready because I don't want to cook this year. I don't want to do nothing. Do you, is your family the type where you guys know where it's going to be every year? It's the same place every year, or does it change? Usually it's at my house. And, oh, really? Um, this year, no. It's at my cousin's house. Okay. So what are you preparing? What dish are you cooking? You, you didn't hear me? I didn't want to do nothing. Oh, they're going to ask you to. Get well, ready. I'm going to just say, wait till Thanksgiving. I might feel different that day. Okay. What's the easiest thing to do? Mac and cheese? It's easy. Mac and cheese is I think all of it is pretty easy. So you're a cook cook. Yeah, I learned from my mom. Really? We're going to have to put your skills to work, to test. Anya. Mm-hmm. Are, uh, mm. are you a cook as well? Not a good handoff if I'm looking for a husband. You really, you really, you didn't throw the lob very well on that one. <laughs> you, you missed. <laughs> but you come with a best friend that cooks very well. I do, I do, I do. And, and, nope, can't say that on here. 
Yep. Hey, no. Okay, hold on. Get back focus. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Get in trouble. <laughs> it's okay. No. It's good for us. No. <laughs> it works out for us. Get no, in trouble. No, Go. No, no, Get him no, on no, you. Get him. Get him. Okay. Get him. I can get him. Oh, I shit. just can't keep him. But no. I, can get him. <laughs> I know how to get him. Okay. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> um, no, I don't. No, you don't. Cook. But are you looking forward to Thanksgiving? Um, honestly, I know this is gonna sound bad. My family events are her family events. Okay. So I didn't I, even think that was what you was gonna say. Oh, I that doesn't sound bad. My palate. <laughs> I think you're gonna start with that. Oh my. Oh, you want. Know you trying to everybody? Hey, y'all no, coming hard know, today? No, I thought that's what you were gonna say because usually you say that. No, well, yeah, no. I first, I don't care for food like that. Really? Yeah. You're not a foodie. Mm-mm. Mm. They were like, "What do you eat?" I'm corn on the cob. Corn <laughs> when, on the cob. And when my grandma forgets to make corn on the cob, I feel like personally victimized by it because, like, you know, if that's it, what I or a Hawaiian roll. What am I gonna eat now? I get the. I had two things, and I have the rolls. And oh. I have enough of the rolls. <laughs> I don't need those rolls. So we, we really, like when you were like, I'm simple. Like you don't have, we really don't have to cook a lot for you to be happy. You I just told you I'm very French Throw fries. some corn on the grill. Yes. I do like tacos. Mm. But I mean, like I'm very, very simple. That's dope though. So, but when it comes to like my family and, and everything, we're kind of, everyone does like their own thing. Mm. So I always just end up doing whatever Javon is going to do. But that's your extended family. Oh, for sure. That's that's dope. That's for, bar. For I call Thanksgiving pre-Christmas I didn't even, I don't even look for it like I like that we get to eat yeah but it's like yep this is just a <laughs> celebration before Christmas <laughs> I start Christmas music no. immediately no me and okay, my listen, daughter I no. love me and my I daughter love Christmas, <laughs> no but Christmas music I can't uh, immediately I, no so you not already started it? I don't like Christmas music no period. I haven't started yet oh. but if it comes on I'm in the mood you I'm know, in the spirit I have an aunt that listens to Christmas music all year long she don't care she likes Christmas. I don't like I that. I love Christmas. I'm going to yeah. say something, and I know. Say it. I'm sorry, Lord. Um, I used to really dislike going to church around Christmas time. Why? Because they change your worship songs. Mm. And um, I don't want to sing First Noel. And do I, you know how to sing? No. No. Well, maybe we don't want to sing. I know what? I do, but I... but. They don't do that at my church. Oh yeah, see at my church they do, and it's and it's Worship like songs still the same. <laughs> yeah, no, and I I just don't care for it. But you know, it's not about that. It's about worshiping the Lord. I just want to make sure that make get that, that, make that very that's clear. Understood. Yeah, yes. Very clear. But it's about your relationship with the Lord. And you just don't want to change the songs. I, just don't like some I just of the don't want to like Christmas music. <laughs> Mm. I really don't. They got black Christmas music now. I don't care what it is. I don't care for it. What kind of music do you like? I would be listening to gospel on the way yeah. here. Gospel music? Yeah. That's what you guys listen to? Yeah. Um, I, I, who's your favorite? What's your favorite gospel song? <sighs> Mine is No Weapon Formed Against Me. I love that song. Our, our, uh, what, Marvin Sapp? Mm. The, uh, What's the song? Y'all, don't even get me started right now. Look, he got to start pulling up gospel bangers. You didn't, oh, oh I was playing so you didn't hear. I put it on the show. I thought that was my wife playing. No, I wanted to okay. share a whole playlist. Playlist. I, Apple has it on here. It updated five days ago. It's called "Take Me to Church." Oh yeah, "Take Me to Church." I love that playlist. Really? Yes. Oh, you know, I okay. He got. We got to do Lord. everything in here. But it's so many good ones. It's so many good ones. That is. No. I, what? What was your ADD thought? Gospel music is so amazing. <laughs> 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 no, you you had a moment. You had a moment and I saw it in your face and then you brought it back. No. Say gospel it. music is so amazing. <laughs> I love God. Love gospel music. Uh, but it's I can't listen to it all day long. Oh no. Oh no, mm-hmm. you can't no. listen to it all day long. I um mm-hmm. No. I really started listening to gospel music, to be honest, in the sauna because I was like, "Oh, this is hell on earth, and I need God in here. I need you now. I need that's, you now. I need that's you a song. Now. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's what I'm saying. Um, but when I run, if I'm running long distance, um, I'm listening. I'm 
anytime I work out, I'm listening to really ratchet ghetto music. I'm listening to things that girls do that I would never do, but I would like to pretend like so I like would. So like No. Gorilla. I, I feel like Casey Gorilla. Red. Kid the Man. Um, Lakia. Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Um, Rennie Rucci. Like very like. Shout out Rucci. Shout stuff out. Stuff I would never do. You need but to listen to like some to Mark pretend. Nasty. You need to listen to some little Veda. Those are boys. Yeah, oh, well, then you need to listen to some Dochi. Okay. Dochi is, oh. Dochi is actually really just not just not ratchet, but no. Dochi is overall artist. I want to say that artist. I used one of the songs for a dance I've done before. Really? I, I use so many songs, but I, I believe I used one of the songs. She's from TDE. She just brought uh, SZA out at the Flog Knob <laughs> concert, mm-hmm. the Tyler, the Creator thing. Mm-hmm. Like, she's dope. Young black artist. Looks like a black woman. Just bomb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. But so... That's that. Other we're we're that, all not ready for Thanksgiving. ready for Christmas. And I'm oh, ready for Christmas. I'm ready for Christmas, <laughs> but I think... Your feelings are still the same. My feelings are still the same, but more because we're going on a trip for my birthday, and then... What if a new person asks you to celebrate Christmas with them? I will. What do you mean? I will. You oh, will? Oh. Uh, undoubtedly. <laughs> undoubtedly. Uh, that was so slow. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Who's new? <laughs> so what if somebody new is I, like... I will. Wait, okay, so this is a better question. What if they, the new, a new someone, somebody, <laughs> just chance. perhaps, yep. just perchance, just by perchance. chance, somebody was like, you know what, I want you to spend Thanksgiving with me. <laughs> and we'll... <laughs> All day. <laughs> Look, now, <laughs> do you want to celebrate today? Oh, today. today. She said, she said, I got a lot. Do you celebrate the week of Thanksgiving? Because I do the week. Because it's coming up. I do the week before. I do the week of. The week after. As a matter of fact, uh, the whole month. December. The whole month. Hey, we're we celebrating new, new things, <laughs> new celebration, new people, new, new energy. We're celebrating that all week. So what do y'all want to talk about? I want y'all to talk about something. I want y'all to bring something up. I have something I want to discuss. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I had this random thought come to mind the other day of a situation. I was at a, um, A Sneaky Link's house. We'll just keep it like that. Just recently? No. Oh, okay. No, oh, this, this was, is just a... This uh, was old. It, okay. it was very old, but you know, my ADD. It just yeah. came in there. And then I was like, oh, I want to talk about this. Um, what is the definition of a Sneaky Link? Before we get there, what is a Sneaky Link? Somebody that you're getting down with that nobody knows about? I feel like that's... I feel place. like they could know. You could know. I feel like... I, think, I feel like you don't know. Yeah, it's sneaky. sneaky, right? I think it's sneaky in the sense of... My sneaky links are it, <sighs> and a sneaky link is a girl's person, right? Not a man's person. I think it can go. I don't know. Oh, I think it's it? interchangeable. I oh, think okay. it's, it's unisex. Okay. Um, but so I, the link is not a it's sausage. Just, it's just oh. sneaky. Okay. <laughs> so it's the, so it, it okay. It's the link up. The, yes. The it's, chain link. The chain, <laughs> chain link. The cuff link. Okay. The bondage link. Copy, copy. Got yeah. It. No. <laughs> Show my age a little. Yeah, but. Um, I think for me, you just don't know a lot about your sneaky link. Okay. To me, that's what I think makes it sneaky. Like, you can have a girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> oh, like, okay. It's so sneaky. No questions asked. Like, I really, don't like, really it's it's sneaky. Here for one thing, I don't even want to get to know I you. Think if you could all not, of it. If you could not talk, it would be better. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? I, I had a sneaky link, I didn't know nothing. I just know, I just knew. What you was getting. I, yeah, that. I knew of your, I knew like your life a little bit, uh-huh. but I didn't know that if that was true. Yeah, I didn't know you that. I, nobody knew about us. Like it was all was, sneaky. Was it so good that you were like, I don't want to know because I don't want to stop coming. <laughs> I think I just. And literally it, it. I think I just <laughs> didn't even think about it. You just okay. don't. Even think about it. Okay. Yeah, it just didn't cross my mind until yeah, it no. crossed my mind. Because <laughs> I've never asked. Yeah. I've never, for why? why in would my I? head, we're doing this. You don't have one. That's in my head. That's oh. what I want to know. That's what I, I want to know. I don't want to know. I just think that. Think that. Oh. I think they all, I only felt like he didn't have one when it was like, oh, some, some in the daytime. The daytime? And that's why. That's why. Like, it and is, that's why, because it's, it's daytime. It could be nighttime. It's like, oh, you have a lot of time. But reality is, that person no. is at work. Right. It could be. <laughs> that person's on vacation. Yeah. Hmm. You're lying to me. 
Okay. So, um, it's nighttime. It's probably like 10 30 ish or whatever. He gets a phone call and it's just him and I were like about this close. And I don't feel like the phone was on speaker. It could have been, but my ears, you know, I have bad hearing, but I have good hearing. Okay. (laughs) And then the guy was like, Hey, um, can you send me, it was like $3,000 or $5,000. He's like, can you send me $3,000? And then the guy was like, yeah, I got you. And then he said, hold up. So he boom, boom, sent it. And he was like, all right, good looking, bro. Boom. Phone call ended. And all I was thinking was, did you fake that scenario? Do niggas, that's okay. That's what I, like, as a man, as a man, because we've been here before. We've been doing this. We've been right. thinking, like, I don't need you to do this. But then I think at that time, that's when things kind of did start to change. And it was more like, oh, you could stay. I'm, I'm about to leave for work, but just, like, lock up. So when now leave. he was at, like, so, the impress mode. I like trying to Maybe, maybe so, she's not taking it to the next level of this because she's, she's not, not impressed this. by me yet. You know I what I mean? Don't, no. That's kind of, but do you think that do niggas do that? Do they make up? Like, do they set plays? Like, Hey, <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't put it past. I've never done that. You know what I mean? For say, but I've lied for the homies and this and that <laughs> or whatever, but what's a lie you set for the homies to, that we was together last night. No, you know what I mean? Like, no, to, to make them look good to another girl. Like, have you been like, Oh, oh this nigga got a, a great a, job. It's a good guy. That's, that's the number it? one lie. It's a, a big lie. lie. It's a good guy. This guy is telling awful. me he's a great guy. I'm like, it's a good guy. He's really stand up. Stand up dude. <laughs> it sounds like our first episode when Javada was trying to introduce me. She's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> this is great. Oh, man. She that, is. I am. But no, it's, it's times where like you'll have to like cover, like covering for somebody. Like mm-hmm. that's the kind of shit that I've done or been a part of not no, hey, hit me up and when you hit me up, be like, thank you for knocking that nigga out the other day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, to make a nigga look good. Like, because you got to do but that, that kind of... that was kind of random, right? That was kind of random. Is that a real life... Dude, like, could it be a possible situation? It could be a possible situation that a nigga needed some money, but like, $3,000 to... You were dealing, you was dealing with, a, with a stand-up guy... <laughs> Cause did he either ask why he didn't say no? Nothing. It was just he didn't ask no questions. Could have been his it business. Was set up. Hey. And I was just like, it didn't register to me. But this then again, okay, let me though. think about this. I'm not. Okay, so, I've never. About this. I've never been to three thousand dollar bar. Give a nigga kind of nigga. Like I've that, never been to that place. Say you call me and you're like, hey, do you want to keep send me three thousand dollars? I'm probably gonna say what? And you're gonna say three thousand dollars. I'm like, okay. And I'm gonna ask you later. Yes, but maybe it's urgent. Yes, yes, yeah. Are you in trouble? What happened? Because that's always like, like, because I'm with somebody. I'm not asking no question. Call your yeah. daddy. Yeah, yeah, of course. If you're with yeah. somebody, you're not gonna ask no question. Because why did she ask me for three thousand dollars? Now I need to. Yeah. I can't kick you out, but right now I need to call. I really want to ask her, but I can't because that's not well, After he paid the, in Costa Rica. <laughs> now look, after he paid the three thousand dollars, did he roll over like? Yeah, just hooking my niggas up. Oh, you know he, I mean? did he do that? Oh, no. oh. No, he did. No, he did. Yeah, just doing my thing for my niggas, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You know. You know, sometimes just niggas be in a bad spot. Yeah, you know, like, it's tough out here really carrying the team, you know? Like, have you ever been the Drake of your squad? Like, if it wasn't for me. It's a lot of pressure, but, just, you know, sometimes you. Have, I'm glad you're here to help me with that pressure, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> to help you with the pressure. I got something you need to relieve, actually. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, I think it could go both ways. You know what I mean? But I, it is some weird niggas out there that would be doing some oh. some weird, silly shit. I wouldn't put it past. No, but I wouldn't put it past girls or guys. Like, I'll just ball them all up together. Like, motherfuckers is weird. No, I, I don't I don't feel like I've ever... I don't know. Well, no. I, people have used me for their lives. Uh, but that's almost the same as, like, say you're on a date. Or either one of you guys are on a date, and mm-hmm. you're like, you know how girls do the safety thing, like, hey, I'll call you in 25 minutes of the date, and mm-hmm. then if it's something, I'll tell you to come get the kids. Or mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. you know, you have your little parameters that you have. You yeah. ain't even gotta call me. You just leaving? Oh, I have a family emergency. Have you done that before? No, I haven't had to do that. You haven't had no bad dates. Have I bad dates? I. Wait, are you a serial dater? No. No, no, no serial no, no, daters? No, 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 no. Yeah. Mm-mm. I can't say I've had a bad date. 
Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it just I mean, all that been here. <laughs> no, <laughs> all that pressure. <laughs> Yeah, that nigga was throwing around three thousand dollars. I think it was throwing around three thousand dollars like it was nothing. The yeah. so fuck did I do? I'm gonna call him right now. That's gonna be three thousand dollars. Since it work. Hey, can you send me three thousand dollars? Oh, okay. So that 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 segue segues into this. Okay, so you guys have never had a bad date. I I have, but you, I stay on that, my bad dates. You stay on your bad dates for the story. For the story, for the experience, for the content. So, what was bad about the date? Uh, he was married. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you found out during the date. Okay, I'll give you the whole background. Everybody, my birthday... pull your bootstraps up. <laughs> Get ready for the ride. So, my birthday is in March, and I told myself, you know what, Anya. You have to start saying yes to things, you know? Even didn't say that. I did. did say I that. did. I was like, you say no, just this is the month of yes, you know? Okay. So I was working bottle service and this guy bought a bottle and he was said something. He said, Oh, take a shot with us. And I was like, Oh, okay. I was like, for my birthday. And he's like, When's your birthday? And I was like, 17th. He said, Okay, I want to take you out for your birthday. Not my type at all. Well, my type, but to the extreme. So <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> your type on steroids no because my type is you know I like short dark ugly niggas with big teeth like that's my so type so that's a real thing that that's my type but he was well, like no 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 but he was I, shorter my, I gotta go back to the, finish your story he was shorter than I needed and his teeth were big and he Bigger was than uglier they been. he was uglier than the ugly he eye was short? Like, well, I didn't even think he was short in oh my no head. he was short oh and, but he was uglier than my he was like he was it was like ugly? A medium ugly he was an ugly ugly that was yeah. well done ugly yeah but I was like it's a month of yes so I was like sure we can, yeah we can go out um we went to <laughs> We went to, it's called Fuego, off of, like, the Maya Hotel. Or oh, yeah, in, over there in Long Beach. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm all excited. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm getting ready for my date, whatever, whatever. I'm posting to my story. That's the sneaky link spot. Up Now I know. So, he tells me, like, oh, I have to take one Zoom. <laughs> well, he was married, so that's where he took us. Yeah. I'm choosing, He's like. really oh. far. He took me on, like, a whole other side. It's all secluded. Let's, yeah. let's go behind I the Queen Mary. I driving <laughs> the other day, and I was like, oh, <laughs> As he's in the shadow with the Queen Mary, no one's over. <laughs> the backside. Backside. Close to the terminal. Got the. Yes. He's like, ooh, it's a patio seat, but can we sit inside? Yeah. No. So um, I get there and we're talking. And the when we were in the club, he was with a guy and the guy was making out with some girl. And I have this thing when I see people make out in the club, yeah. I think they're in love. Yeah, that's. You guys are off. Not you guys, because I don't think that. There's I a few fairy tale things that you both I mean, believe. <laughs> There's a few fairy tale things that you both tend to believe. That's Anya's. Yours is the other one, but that one. <laughs> that oh, I I when I see you kissing in the club, you guys are made for each other. So that puts you in the mood of saying so, yes. So no, I had to say yes because it was a month of yes. That's just that's the only reason. But I wanted to get an update on the love story. So I'm like, oh hey, what happened with your friend and the girl? Are they in love? Like, are they together already? They're What's gonna happening? get married. He's like, oh no. Um, I'll try and leave it vague without giving out too much information, but he was just like, he's married and they used to work together and he basically moved his way up in the company that they worked for. And she had reached out to him like, Oh, because I guess I used to be her intern or whatever. And, um, and so he was like, well, I'm coming down for business, but we can whatever, but that's it because I have a family and I'm not leaving my family. Okay. And that was what that situation was. Uh-huh, so they didn't just meet in the club. Yeah. They had some previous. There's a backstory. <clears throat> yes. So I was like, like I oh my you. God. I'm like, he's married. He's like, yeah, he's married. And I'm like, you're I'm not, not saying it like that. Yeah. yeah. He's married. I'm like, you're not married. Are you? And like, I'm looking at him with, you know me, I'm very animated. So I'm like, uh, and he's like, that? yes. And I'm like, <laughs> just laughing, 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 <laughs> laughing, laughing, because you should be laughing with me. Oh, so shoot. I'm laughing, laughing, yeah. laughing, straight face. And I'm like, no, no, but you're not married. And he's all like, two kids. <laughs> so you're doubling down. So you're doubling down and you're not lying to me. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, why are we on a date? Oh, I can't go on dates? <laughs> <laughs> you're Damn. married. You're married. What do you mean you can't go on dates? What is this date for? Oh shoot! 
He's yeah. gonna take you off for your so, birthday. But, <laughs> yeah, it was like, I'm just a friend for your birthday. He, you look like he you made it very it. clear. He said, I'm gonna take you off for your birthday. He didn't say nothing else. Man. And so you finished the date. I did. I did, I did, I did. How I told did, myself, because. Uh, Anya, you deserve a good meal. No, you know, it was cool. is a, it's a cool time. It was it, it was an interesting restaurant. I enjoyed myself. Mm-hmm. Um my my friends and family enjoyed my story. Um was married, two kids. It's now crazy. you were in the month of yes. Mm-hmm. What if he would have said, nope. Would you like to go nope. further? <laughs> would you I like to go got to a room in here for us? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, you no. Know. Oh, because it is a hotel too. Yes, yeah, that's yes. right. Oh shoot, that's funny. He probably did have a room with his little short, sneaky ass. Uh huh. So look, okay. So this, so girls be liking ugly people. Like this, you're not the first person I said I heard say that. It's like three girls I've heard say that they like ugly people. I just hate when people say I like ugly people because. Reality, there's somebody for everyone. What if you don't think he ugly? I know. But you're giving life to ugly out here. But she don't think he ugly, so that's the problem. So is that's he ugly? But so, you're saying he's ugly in other people's perspectives? Yeah, people. you're not. You're not. That's like, I think what people say. Was he ugly to you? Social I've norm. never seen him. So, oh, so are know, some of but, her uglies ugly to you? Oh, yes. <laughs> he but this, I was about to call you a B word. <laughs> Ooh, it was about to he come said, out. Uh, it was about yes. to come out. <laughs> you, you, you like your niggas a little bit black. I mean, so of well, course they're ugly. Well, I like dark skinned niggas, and you like your niggas this much black. This is the thing. A I little, like, only a little no, bit listen. black. What's a little bit black? A, a sea salt pinch of black. <laughs> listen though. She's not wrong. But, <laughs> but when I but I like black guys too. Yeah. But she does. I just feel like they got everybody has to be attractive to me. Yes. That's yes. it. You yes. gotta be attractive. And I like them dark. Dark and but and ugly. Dark and dark can be I beautiful. Like dark, dark, but only very rare that it's dark. Like like Morris Chestnut, is he dark? Morris like Chestnut him. is dark. I like him. Well more. <laughs> Morris Chestnut is a sex symbol. Like yeah, he's like one was, of the. That that's how. Was, that's how I like how they look. No, please stop. Please stop. I like my. Mm-hmm. You like them to look like Morris Chestnut. If they're, if they're dark skin, no. like one of ten million. That's what I'm saying. You sound like. Uh, you sound like all the black guys who are like. I like white girls. I like um, Selma. But what's wrong Selma, with that? Like when they say they're Nothing. one. But I do like my. Okay, so the black guys that I do like, they're usually like my color. Yeah. I don't even know what color you are. I. Me neither. Not light skin. I'm not. So, but that that's not a little bit of black. That's so. What do you mean? No, but my she's saying what I like is a little bit of black. But then that's not wrong. That's not wrong. I, wish I don't you, know I, I, what I I I, I, I want to see. A thank you, thank you. Get to there. We go. There we go. She's saying what she's saying. Yeah. Look at the pictures. Okay, but let's define. I want to get to how did you get to the point of liking ugly? Like, what is that? Like I never, people think, I've never met a man that was like, you know, I want to, I would like I my girl like to be a little bit of saying ugly. That because all of our friends, we like, we like they someone. like traditionally fine niggas, like, and she just be like, oh, mm. he ugly then because they don't like him, so then she say, he oh, ugly. okay, okay, like okay. But my do, I do think like the people that I talk to are not traditionally handsome. Okay, so when you see them. When you see an untraditionally not handsome man in the street, you be like, ooh. <laughs> I think she trained herself. Ugly, ooh, ugly nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Short, dark, mm. big old teeth. Uh, so what about that? So was it, so uh, I want to see this. I, let me see. Let me, let's dive into that. Okay. So was it that maybe one of your good experiences in life was, was that? No. And you was like, and now you're chasing that high? No. Damn, that's no, no, I, I have one. She just, I think she's she's trained herself. <laughs> no, but I had to get out of it. I'll tell you because I have <laughs> shoot for the wall, handle the I'm curb. Gonna, I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna say. I had one experience that I did, and it was not even for adult me. It was for the 16 year old me. You know, you're like, oh, this is from childhood, Anya. We're gonna experience this. Um, and then I looked at his body. And I was like, oh, this is giving pedophilia. 
you're so little. Oh, it was just like a little guy. Yeah. It just, I, and his little baby butt. I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Okay. So you like them rotund? No, I, I think I like the stronger short ones. I feel okay. like those ones, because they the really. The tree stumps. They like to. <laughs> yeah. I think they, have, they feel like they have to prove something. That they don't have to be short. Okay. They don't have to be dark. No. She like them. She just she like, like a, a solid gorilla back. She oh, like a solid. Oh, I like a wide back nigga. That's what she really oh, likes. Oh, I do. Solid dudes. All right. I love it. I love a silver back. So stop. You should, you need to. You shouldn't categorize them by ugly. Then you just like a like I a know, solid. We talked about that because we said she. I did it. I you know because I say it so freely. I was like, I love me a dark skinned little ugly nigga. And then and then the nigga DM me. It was like. And I was like, oh, not you. You're different. <laughs> no, you're special. Yeah. I care about you. Wait, a little more ugly than what, what was wanted? No, 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 no. He was offended because, because he, she's just so used oh, to saying, yeah. Right, so all, now the guys that you've liked, they now say, like, oh, oh I'm ugly. Oh, like, you trying talk, to say, talk about me. Damn, bitch, you calling me ugly little, you calling me an ugly gorilla? Damn. But I love you, baby. <laughs> I loved it, you. <laughs> we had a good time. But that shit was interesting to me because I'm not going to say the other two people that said that, but I've heard other the two other girls say that they are attracted to... I'm going to be honest. This is really where it comes from. Or is that could be beauty is in the eye of the beholder? It's not that. It's just, I just don't like bitches in my nigga's face, right? So if you're ugly, bitch is not really in your face like that. If you're oh. so handsome and it's just bitches in your face all day, like, oh, get out of here. Oh. So I, let me just give you a little ugly one. You're going to get the occasional one and you're going to feel good because you don't get complimented a lot. So you're going to be like, oh, my God. Ah. But like. But the ugly I, ones cheat just as much. Oh, they all do. Yes. Yeah, so but she's not like, worried about that. She doesn't worry about the bitches, bitches in the yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't, I just like don't want bitches in your face. I don't, like <laughs> I don't like it. It's so irritating to me. I have to, to not care. Because I like me an attractive ass nigga. I, no, and I've had handsome men. And I don't so care. what is it about well, women a, being in his face? A bitch in his face? Means that he's... No. I'm just like... No, she... Or in front of you. She... The... Uh, he, I don't know how to talk without we saying can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. Yes, we can. We can't. No. Yes, we can. Yes. 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 yes, we can. Is that a politician? Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we can. This is an no. Obama Trump household. Yes, yes, we can. No. Um, so no, you get I aggressive just, if somebody's in your face. I don't get aggressive. Face. I just get very like. Like, are you serious? <laughs> She, and I'm sitting here. No, it's not. Oh, you like Jody's baby mom. You know what oh, thank you so much, huh, I'm not, Jody? I'm not saying thank nothing. you so much. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just looking. <laughs> like, so what do you consider in the face? What do you consider a bitch being in your man's face? Like, what is that? Is that her just talking to him? Or is that her being like close to his face? And she's worse. Or is it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're on, we're on you right now. Tell her. Tell We're her. on you. Um, I don't. So it can is it that the closeness of being in somebody's face, or is it just that she's talking to your nigga? Just that she's talking to him. Um, is the vibe I'm getting? It depends, I guess. <laughs> it really depends on the person. Well, he can't laugh too much at a girl's joke. No, he can't. It's... No, we all laugh. If it's funny, we all laugh. But if it's not, what are you laughing? You <laughs> 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 see the eye? <laughs> you like her? Cause that wasn't even funny. I laughed at jokes. <laughs> I know funny. funny, and that was not funny, and that was not your kind of funny. <laughs> you see, oh, so, see, y'all laughing? I'm just yeah. <laughs> so I don't like touching. So do you just take note? Just take note of it, or do you like? I take note or do of you it. just hit? To me, that's what she. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, have to do it. That's how you do it. She just be like. Oh, sure. And you know what? Sometimes I'm so, un- like, I can, I'm not ev- as observant as she is. Oh. So, like, n- I think after she was be observant, I become more observant. In oh, okay. Oh, and I'll put dubs. I instigate, too. I'll be like, you see that? You see that? I'll be like, fake fighting. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be like, the girl will be turned around all the way walking. I'll be like, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I'm like, that's my friend, nigga. Get out of oh, here. Oh, shit. So, I really want to know what would be an incident like that? What would be a cause of that? Like, what would she no. do that would be a cause of that energy? 
Touching? Touching like, hey, shoulder touch. Yeah, let me show you. Look at me. Good morning. That? <laughs> you can't say good morning without touching? That's You can't out. say good morning because this is not a, this is a, no, 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 ain't no, nobody no, no. even touch it. No, ain't nobody no. touch it. No, 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 But you no, didn't no. touch nobody else here in the circle? <laughs> You said not nobody else here in the circle. No, that's you're fucking crazy. Javon's hey, crazy. I did like this, and it, it happened yeah. behind my back. So I was like this. I said. <laughs> I sat back. No, like, that's a woman's handshake. No, 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 no. That's a female handshake. Why didn't you touch the other guy's hand? Because she morning. may not have known them. No, very much knew him first. The other one first. It just went to him. Well, maybe she didn't know that well, he was in a relationship. Yeah, she probably likes she him. She does. No, I know that. Right? Well, you like handsome niggas. Yeah, if that's, that's okay. Bitches in the face. And that's okay. If he would have been and, a short, fat, and, ugly nigga, and, he wouldn't have got a handshake. And, and the other one, and the other one. And what? And, and let me tell you, and let me tell you, let me tell you. The short, fat nigga would have been like, oh, bitch, you don't see me? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't, because you're ugly. We also would have been like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, because your hands up, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not but but it went away real quick okay it just happens in the moment but it's still in you yeah it happens in the moment and then I'm I'm very much like okay whatever because you're still mine yeah okay and but that's almost like a blade that cuts both ways because you like your man to be stunning and then if he's stunning women are going to notice and maybe do a little touch and talk Stun- not a little touch talk mm-hmm. yes Little touch. I'm not talking about no tug. Just a little touch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like a I shoulder. Not a tug. <laughs> not a tug. Little touch. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. How you doing? I just feel like if it was your already your friend, I wouldn't care about a hug. No, I think. But that's not it, your friend. No, I think men are more deliberate with their disrespect. Like women are probably like a little bit more like. No. Men are more like are more. Why are you with this buster? Like she had a. No, women. Women are. Women are. Women don't care. Mm. We don't have girl code. Mm. We fake mm-hmm. it. We fake. Oh my god, girl power, <laughs> unity. But everyone yeah. just wants to be married. So if I gotta get your nigga, I'll get your nigga. If you don't uh, be mine. It's the it's the competition, for the nigga. Do you have you ever heard the quote? Trophies don't chase players. Not chasing. I, I have not. Not chasing the players. Mm. That's by a good guy by the name of Bob Drew. Got was it a, a real? Good oh, guy? actually, a really good guy. Yeah, uh, uh, actually, real, yeah. Like a really good guy. This is the like new the Rios. Fake, this the, is the new uh, the mature fake good guy. <laughs> really it's the good new, guy. The new mature Rios. <laughs> Just asking. Bob Drew really brought up on one of the episodes: trophies don't chase players, mm-hmm. and I think that was like a dope. He said he was talking to his girl, one of his homegirls. And that was something that he either said to her or she said, she was talking about something. He was like, you're, you're a trophy. Why are you chasing the players? The players have to compete for the trophy mm-hmm. and to know that. See, I. Yeah. What you said. I hate it here. It's okay. I fucking hate it here. It's okay. okay. And. <laughs> There's trophies here, 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 here. What it, what competition is is competing for you is where you, and that's the other thing you I'm you choose your value. To my player, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he earned me. Yeah, he don't play no other sports but this sport, or right. this team. This team, but that but you set your you set your value. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you set your value. Like what? Where do I want to be at? Where do I see myself? No, for a fact. Yeah. I would like people to do that. And just manifest it. Manifestation. People? people, no, in general. Like women. Like, yeah, yeah. Women. To set their value and... Manifest, 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 manifest. Because it's really y'all game anyway. It is. It's really y'all. Y'all just... Ruin it. You guys just... Oh, thank Fucking you for saying ruin it. it. We thank just, you for saying it. Yes, it's, it's, it's fine. Like I said, we just don't give a shit. We don't care about nobody but ourselves. And it's... Speak for yourself. I do not want to ruin it. <laughs> no, I no, no. I mean the game. She's like, speaking the truth. Right I, mean, now. I mean the game in general. Oh, like yeah. why, why niggas don't pursue? Because there's bitches out here who are taking niggas on dates. Like that's, and it's it, it feels nice. It feels nice. I like when my dinner gets paid for. So I understand you want yours paid for too. But 
date a man. It's like the yeah. movement, whatever movement that happened, it just went a complete. One, it's the population. Like, it's so we just <sighs> women are in a bad spot, and I feel like you guys did it to yourself a little bit, but a little bit. <laughs> it's like you 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 put the value to what it is, right? Like every, you know what a nigga wants, you know, but. If you guys was like on one accord, but like we, I think we had talked about it when you got the girls out there doing whatever, mm -hmm. they'll go after that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Everyone wants to be a pick me. A pick me. And we'll do anything to be picked. Like I'm sitting up on this shelf as a trophy. God damn, it's a hundred of us up here <laughs> collecting <laughs> dust. Just fucking, it's awful out here. Hey, so let, okay, let me think about this. Let me ask about this. I wanted to know, like, what in a relationship, what would you guys consider, like, what is, what do you consider cheating? Like, are there just a single act and that's, that's what you feel cheating is? Or is it a variation of things that you can do to be a cheater that will cross your boundary or cross the line with you? I think that there's different levels of cheating or like avenues of cheating. So obviously there's physical cheating and then there's emotional cheating. And sometimes for, as a woman, emotional cheating hurts more. What right? is emotional cheating? So emotional cheating to me is um, like building a relationship with a girl and it's not even sexual. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if we we sleeping in the same bed and we waking up and you not giving me like good morning kisses and stuff like that and you leave and you going off to work or whatever and then I go through your phone and you texting her right when you wake up, good morning sunshine and let the, mm. let the day or bless you. even if you're giving you and, it to me like, and you're still giving it to her, you're still building that. You're still yeah. building them, yeah. Even if you are giving it to me. Yeah. So the building a like... So the most of it, you consider like building a relationship with somebody, like you're, you're building, building a, a relationship yeah. and a connection yeah. mm -hmm. with that or, person. Or like, cause I've had this conversation with one of my exes before and he would call, he was like, Oh, I just want to, you know, rant about work. But he's like, I don't want to put it on you. I said, no, cause that's what I'm here for. If you're not ranting to me about work, who are you going to, mm -hmm. who, who's, who's going to get that? Maybe that's it's, that's maybe it's building homework. that relate. No, you, no, 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 you're going to, because your homeboys are they're niggas like they're not going to be like man I really da, 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 da. they're going to be like bro get together get to work yeah exactly You're, you want that nurturing loving uh, feel from a woman that intimacy right so for if me if you're not seeking that, it through me you're seeking it through and, and you may not even be seeking it intentionally but if I'm here and I'm shutting down you trying to talk to me there's going to be someone here who's accepting of it and then it could happen accidentally yeah yeah just take natural courses like mm -hmm. the natural course takes place Mm -hmm. So, what do you? Is one worse for you than the other? <clears throat> do you like? Is does one hurt more or does one hold a? Honestly, a I more, think emotional hurts more. Emotional Women. hurts more. Especially because we because when we love, we love. So we're we're in love with you. We're in love with you. Yeah. And so we value you a certain way, and so loving you and thinking that we're calling you and we're we're emotionally you're dumping on you yeah and you do that with us but then you're not doing it as much or you you're i see that you're doing, doing the it same with something with someone, with someone else. else so it's like i'm not doing that with nobody else mm -hmm. you like her mm -hmm. yeah exactly has that has that happened to either of you i've been cheated on before yeah um i've been cheated on. i've been cheated on well uh <laughs> And it, it hurt worse than what I thought it was hurt. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> was it emotional or physical or both? I don't give a fuck what it was. <laughs> it, 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 it was everything. <laughs> it was a you tornado. fucked him. You told him you loved him. Why you was fucking him? I don't know how you did it. But I turned it into... She didn't even mean it. But I turned it into like a whole... In my own mind, I turned it into a whole scenario. Oh, the that, oh, the whole thing. Oh, like, we, oh, oh. And so I was like, it, I, you can ask Javonda. I'm good at that. I'll make a whole. And so before situation. that, I was like, I don't give a fuck. Let me like, I ain't tripping. Hey, I'm good. I'm it's a bitch. Gee, I'm out or whatever. And it just that hard out core exterior melted real quick. <laughs> Cheeto. Heart attack. Cheeto, me. Stomach hurt. Yeah, you was with a bitch Am last night. night. You were just who? with a bitch ah. last night. Yeah. That'd be the they worst. They start turning to Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> but it hurt. It did hurt worse than what I I thought it was. I thought I was going to be just like, uh, whatever, like, okay. just off did my you, shoulder. Did you catch or did she tell? I I saw something. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Okay, so... <laughs> 
feeling like that. Why don't men take that feeling and be like, damn, when I do this, she feels the same way. Can I say something before? I don't think, I don't think that go. men get that feeling for every person. I think his particular person, it hurt. If it was somebody else, no, but that's what he I mean. wouldn't get that feeling. But what, oh, I'm, no, saying, yeah, but what I'm saying, saying is I'm I don't not think saying that, that they're getting that encounter to get that. But they're, the encounter he had with that somebody, mm. that somebody also feel that way about you. Yeah. So when you do it to them, why are you not feeling that they're going to be hard? Because I, us... Then, okay, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Because I think men cheat with their... Our men seek out with their penis. You know what I mean? And not with their heart. You know what I mean? And I think women... Women do it... Like, I, this is what I've seen. Women do it to hurt their man, to get back at their man, or do it because there's more of a connection besides just their vagina. It's like, that's their person. But we feel... We still feel that. We still feel like... You're building a connection. Yeah. Because the girl, if women if build women laying down with you and they're laying down with you, she's building that. Now she want to talk to you every day and now you talk to her because you just building it with your penis mm. but now you're doing it all the time. All the time. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, but what if it's not all the time too? You know what I mean? Because that's the other thing. Men, unlike women, I don't really know a ton of women that do that but I do know some that are as promiscuous as men. But men can go from boom, 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 and not go back to the first boom and just mm -hmm. continue. One time is fine with me. Yeah, you know what I mean? And then go to the next and conquer. It's like the conquer and destroy kind of shit. And it's like no feeling there. There's no feeling there at all. It's like. So I take what I said back mm -hmm. about women doing it to themselves. Y'all, <laughs> the conquer and destroy. Because they. But, the, but it's the woman who's allowing the man to. Enter. It's a little bit gullible. And yeah. Like, he could possibly love me. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why men probably look at it different, the aspect of cheating, because they're, they're like, we look at it like, well, I don't give a damn. I would die for you. I would take a bullet in the head. That's why, you're, that's why, you're, that's why your chest was hurting. Yeah. You stop that shit. <laughs> no, but, but exactly why it was hurting, because then when it happened, you're just like... Oh, I thought I was ready. I thought I was this, but was actually, like, you was just telling yourself a lie, nigga. Yeah. You really love this person. Oh, you really care. I gotta step out real quick, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I don't know what you saw. <laughs> oh, what I saw, mm -hmm. I saw. So what it was is, I saw a message from my uh, partner, mm -hmm. not my wife, but yeah. somebody that I was with, texting somebody else about what they did, and the person telling them how wrong it was. And it was a whole conversation. Oh, so, so the nigga felt bad? No, not the, no. Are uh, he, like... Uh, not the one that was, that was a part oh, of it. Oh! So another, uh, one, oh, a family yeah, friend, yeah, like a close yeah, person yeah, was like... Yeah. Like me texting Javonda like, girl, and I will, and then Javonda be like, like, but that's not cool. That's not cool. Why'd you do this? Da, yeah. da, da. And so it like had popped up on the messages had popped up on the computer or something. <sighs> And it wasn't even like I was seeking it or yeah. whatever. And I was just like. He, he, was she there? Was she there when you saw him? No, not, okay. she was in the house, oh. not there. No, I know, but she was in the house. That's still a lot. How did you, how did you, did you compose yourself or did you, oh, did I you I, No, no, up? I composed myself. Yeah? Yeah, I composed myself. I got and it together. And then you went and you cheated. I, but the thing <laughs> is, she was so right to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> like it, she was in her right mind. She was, she was so right. She was so neglected. She was so mm -hmm. like, and her reasoning behind it was like, the nigga does, you know what I mean? And she was right, mm -hmm. but it still hurt. Oh man, yeah, still. And yeah. it was like not something that, not something that killed me or whatever. But I just was surprised by that. She thought she loved you. I mean, mm -hmm. she did love she you. She did, but I, how, okay. Let's let's get into that. Yeah. Do you think that you can cheat and love someone? Yes. Yes. Oh, you're such a boy. Yes. Give it to me. Tell me again. Tell me your thoughts. I don't really care, but tell me. So, like I said, like there's a devalue, right? Like mm -hmm. there's value added to, like, say me coming up as a kid. Like I really wasn't sold on the idea of sex being on a pedestal or sex is valued like this. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. It was just like, how many girls you got? How many, like, oh, mm -hmm. 
Jay's a player or, oh, you cracking. You know what I mean? Like, the more you had, the more value was to you as a man. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't as in, like, how many women love you? Mm -hmm. How many women do you love? It was like, how many girls you got? Mm -hmm. And so that that upbringing kind of, like, breeds or, or raises a monster because then you're taking the value out of the act. It's just how many acts have you performed? Mm -hmm. And now it's like, when growing up, like if I cheated, I was just like, it wasn't nothing about love. Like that's never, sex was never about love or caring. It was always about just getting your rocks off, right? And so when you're with somebody, you love them to death. I would give you all my money. I would die a thousand times for you. Like, and you're trying but to. But you can't keep your penis to yourself? But you can't keep your penis to yourself because. Oh, <laughs> not because. No, no, because. no. No, no, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm continuing. Know, because you don't equate that to something as damaging. Because mm -hmm. I can't even understand how It's much... like saying, like, don't eat French fries for the rest of your yeah, life. And like, like, how does that affect like, little, that really little little dirty you? dogs? Like, you're mad about yeah, that? Yeah, like, oh, dogs out here. That bothers you? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes, it does. It really does. It does. And so it takes it takes some time to, to put the shoes on the other foot or, or understand how other people feel because some people grow up valuing sex and and love in a whole different light than you. Mm -hmm. And so you have to adjust your, assess, address, and adjust your shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. AAA. That's what it's I'm saying. It's said asses. It yeah. said asses. I don't care what you say. That shit said asses. You know, dyslexic. I thought that shit said tacos. That shit said asses. <laughs> assess, address, and adjust. But if you are equally yoked with somebody, mm -hmm. All of that miscommunication and all that shit will be washed, right? But if you don't have that understanding and value, like what these communication, these conversations that you're really getting down to the bare minimum with the person. So you wouldn't be surprised by certain behaviors or it would give you the opportunity to be like, you know what? You got a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the place to be with somebody that needs that kind of work. I'm, I'm in a different spot right mm -hmm. now. You know what I mean? And so... We don't really talk about shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's important. Um, so do you think that you can love someone and cheat? Do I think that? Mm -hmm. I don't think I can. Because I'm going I'm to be crying. <laughs> I'm going to be crying. Do you think that someone can love you but cheat on you? <laughs> they they did. They think, but <laughs> do you think they... Like, I just don't feel like that's love. Well, maybe it's part of my fairy tale. No, no it's I not. Think, no, it's not. I'm not no, going to no, say... No. This is it. No. Love... Is a word, right? <laughs> so, what is he? Was he in love with me? I don't know. But do you love me? I'm gonna say yes. Yes. You, because you were the things that you have done for me mm -hmm. and been there for me. I'm gonna say he loved me. In love with me? You couldn't have been like in love with in me because you was because... in that bitch. So you can't be in love with me and then the bitch at the same time. So then the other thing is like, okay, either either or man or woman cheating. Mm -hmm. Why do we value that one act up against a thousand good acts as more valuable? Well, than I don't. I don't think it was one act oh. that I <laughs> that I was only concerned about. <laughs> so say so say that one situation. Yeah. Just that one situation, as however many acts are with that situation stacked up against all the the good. Is because, that, that, because, that is that because that does have more value? Because it, tell because you. I tell you, that hurts me. Mm -hmm. I love you, and I'm showing you everything that I love about you, and I'm telling you, don't do that because it hurts me. Mm -hmm. But okay. you can still go and do it, even though you looked at me in my eyes and said, "I'm sorry," but you probably only said sorry because I I wanted you to say sorry, and you go back and you do it again, and probably with the same person. Who knows? Now, so whether it's the same or a different person, is the same person to still the same act, or is that are we? No, no, is that, the is same, same act. person, another person. The act is the act. You still doing the same thing. So, so we stack it. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm stacking so all you the, went I'm back. All you shit. double back, and this is stacking up. Double back, me. new person. Stack, 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 stack. Yeah, <laughs> stack that shit up. Right. Um, but I just feel like I'm hurt, and you're not taking my hurt Ooh. as anything serious. Now, what if this dude gave you a kidney and saved your life? I'm gonna. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take this motherfucking kidney out of my motherfucking body with this lying ass kidney. I'm just kidding. Let me die. Was this kidney in your body when you was in her? Because now, she's saving me too? 
Oh my god! No, so, get this shit out of here. Get it out. <laughs> <laughs> like throw that shit at him because it does bring up a good. I can get a kidney for my friend. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 <laughs> but but look, he sacrificed his life for you. No, he had I two kidneys. Just a false he scenario. had two kidneys. He didn't sacrifice. Sacrificing your kidney is that's the only way you have left, <laughs> and you want me to live over you or some shit. I don't fucking know. Sacrifice your life. Do y'all see how crazy women are? No, we're Do just we're see? just holding you to it. But no, I get it though. But I, I definitely understand. And but, but I see it now through like maturity and putting the like looking at it from a different lens, right? Mm-hmm. Like seeing, oh, just because you don't value something like that doesn't mean that mm-hmm. they don't. Now, what is it that I value that makes me feel that way? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like let's compare it. Like, so this is to me, this is like if you did this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like to me, she, like if, I, like if if you broke it down, like oh, if if say my wife was like cheating to me is like running me over with a car. Like you, no, to me something <laughs> like if you went and snitched on me to the oh. police, that's how like I You're feel like that is like the ultimate. You're going to jail. I'm gonna like snitch. cross right? right. So that's mine. So um, that's the value. Oh, that's the value you're giving it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Now I get like, I get what you're saying. Yeah. But before it's like if you don't if you don't compare or value or make that connection. Because why don't you just want this simple loving life? Forever. That's great. That's why so- don't you want that? Mm-hmm. We can have a great time. We oh communication. Never mind. That's why. <laughs> no, no you- that's why because we're not right. going to say because honestly things happen. We have problems and communication is not happening. Communication. Because it can easily be fixed, and we can now have we can fix this. And we can have fun together. We can do this together. We can, you can really have a simple, fun, family oriented life and that you say you want. It could, co- and then, but also, we're in the the state of taking the first out. You know what I mean? Like whatever is the first exit, the first like, oh, this is not going right. I'm over here. Um, I don't feel right. We argued. Oh, I'm going over here. I'm going out. We're going to go drinking, and like taking the easy route, you know what I mean? Instead of figuring, like, do, getting into the good argument and figuring out, and not running away and being like, you know what? F you, I'm about to go see Cindy over here or I'm about to go go where I feel valued. Right. You know what I mean? Like, relationships are full of peaks and valleys. You know what I mean? And it's about when those 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 valleys come. And my next relationship start, will not you. be like that. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great all the time. Of- in Jesus' name. Do you consider do, what? Oh, do you consider toys cheating? No, hold on. I'm trying to let's get back to something because I've been trying to say it, but y'all okay, go, 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 vibing. Go. So back to why um, this one act and all of these acts, right? Why is it such a big deal, right? So in the most simplest term, is one of my go-to quotes. Mm-hmm. Um, Trust is built in droplets and poured out in gallons. Mm-hmm. So all of those things you did built my trust. Mm -hmm. And this one thing, you dumped it out. Say it again. Trust is built in in droplets droplets and and poured poured out out in in gallons. gallons. Ooh, we ain't that the damn truth. And so it's like, you want me to have this trust for you that I did, but all of it's gone. Ooh, we, well, we have to start. What men don't talk about enough. I think is when you do make a mistake and when you do cheat and you see that light or that glow, of trust and love leave. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like now we just dealing with each other before I was here because I wanted to be here. Cause you were my man or this and that. Well, it's cause I, and I, I trust loved you. you. I trusted you. I, I Everything safe was here. safe. I don't, I, how there's a person that's supposed to be protecting me. The person that harms me. Mm-hmm. And, and like, the bad I thing don't about understand it is now. I mean, I'm pretty sure guys can be the same, but women, we, we be thinking mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. So now we're like, in the bed and it says like we caught you cheating through your phone mm-hmm. so now we're like why is your phone face down yeah yeah why all these other things now and why yeah. why are you doing that why are you acting weird why is your ringer down well, like it's just so much built up and it's like our trust we don't want it to be that way but mm-hmm. yeah just, because it poured out and the work to get that trust say you said trust is in drops droplets to build it back, it trust is in half droplets. <laughs> <laughs> Micro droplets. <laughs> it's, to it's get it back. It's a mister. It's a little <laughs> oh, Let me tell you. <laughs> and the, the girls, work, you spraying it. 
<laughs> and she like, get, get the, fuck out the cup might be moving as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like nigga, no, <laughs> no, nigga. Like, she, like, are you trying to drop that shit in here? Like, no, I want this to I stay empty. There's a lid. I don't want nothing today. <laughs> I don't want any. When I when I ask for it, then you could micro drop me. <laughs> Trust, don't live here, nigga. <laughs> and it's it's when you cross that line. And I've crossed that line, is why I say is because it is the most hurtful, humbling experience because you see what you you see what you had. You don't know what you what you got till it's gone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you don't appreciate some people things. still can't see. Some people still can't see. And it you take it for granted, but when you see that light and that glow gone or the look in the eye gone, and you have to build that back up, but it's a lot of people that aren't willing to put to the build. work in to the build it back. The thing is that what I did, what I have learned is that people, they just go out and try to find you and someone else. Right. Right. Mm. Have you done that? No. Try to find somebody. Why would I want to do that? I would have just stayed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I want to live here? No. So, so wait, every relationship, so every relationship <laughs> that you've been <laughs> Whoa. Because <laughs> why she played that nigga so tough? Why would I? Why would I go and find so, that somewhere else? I don't want it. No, so what I'm saying is, so oh. every relationship that you've had, I'm not saying, like, I'm not talking about cheating, but, like, do you ever look for qualities that you've had in Think another you man? last time. In another man. Um... This is what I because they can't be all is, bad. Everything no, no, no. about them bad. Not all everything about them. I typically find the same type of guys, um, not in the full, but um, they treat me the same. Like mm. they're very loving towards me. Everybody treats me like with care. Mm. Like I like that, but um, they all do. So I like that about them. Now, so I think I find that. That is something I can find in all of them. Okay, okay. I don't look for it, but it just... But that's the quality just, that you tra- look... I'm yeah. attracted to that. Yeah. Um. So, but... Can I say something? Mm-hmm. I think it's because you're sick. Because if you come to me and you tell me you're sick, how do I not care for you? Oh, you don't have to get this. <laughs> okay. okay. But, okay. No, but you know what I mean? No, I, don't know. I get... But... Like, I, you know what? If someone comes... I see what you... You know what I mean? Like, how am I not concerned for you? Like that, that's wild. So why they was cheating? I'm no, just no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that right there. You got that sick bitch. <laughs> Keep my dick to myself. Oh, you got that sick. Crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, we in this together, but man, no. I see your point in that. Yeah. You but, know what I mean? But it also can be that because of that. I've built more care for you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it has just they're made showing me- it. They're able to express it more. Yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah. just other qualities that if I find in one guy, I'm not looking for in the next guy, and then I don't see it in this guy, but he got qualities. Um, um next guy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, like those are the things. So, do you consider toy cheating? If you. Okay, I'm going to say this. Javonda's going to say this. <laughs> if you, I guess, like, if your partner wants to use it with you, mm-hmm. then no, because that's something that y'all will discuss and he wants to use it with you now, or she, whoever, whoever partner, whatever. Um, but I feel like separately, uh-huh. yes. What are you doing? Because... You got a man. You got a man, and you're still doing that. Oh, don't get me started. Because don't jack off with me in the house. What? The, yeah. What? The f- I'm here. I'll beat you up. Yeah. Let me walk in on you jacking off for what? Mm-hmm. What if I wanted some? Yeah. But you're lazy. You don't want to, have to put in work. So you like, let me go here and rip this out real quick. <laughs> you're lazy. Playing tug of war over here. <laughs> yeah. tug, tug of war in the corner, huh? I don't like that. But so. You, it is cheating. You do consider it cheating. Like so, if you if your man is at work or whatever, and you have your your I'm a your horrible roles, example. And you have your roles. I'm a horrible example. So, do you consider yourself? No, this is why I'm a horrible example. I don't believe in that. Oh, okay. Only because I feel like for myself, 
um, I don't want to become. I think when dependent on that or you become mm-hmm. desensitized. I think oh, desen- I, yeah, desensitized. Yeah, you desensitize yourself and you do something regular that's being done by a robot and then when it's time for you to be intimate with your partner you can't get off by the man or the person because that you're loves used you to the- because you're used to doing something with something that penises don't do that mouths don't do like you're yeah. you're and I, I feel like that's wrong that is wrong but you know how i am i'll be all submissive and caring about the other person and shit I'm not caring but- about myself but i feel like you're making it more difficult on them and you shouldn't have to you shouldn't do that I, agree. I feel like that's even I think you, I, I you're think still I, putting it off on them, but you're still making it difficult for yourself because you're saying them, yeah. but going into it, you're you're the one. They're fine. <laughs> they're getting <laughs> they're fine. They're getting there. You're still not getting yours. <laughs> you're not getting yours. Yeah, and yeah. still, I won't. I won't. Yeah. And still be there. Wait, explain that. Say that again. What? Because she said just now, she was like. I'm just so, you know, me, I'm all caring about him and not yeah. thinking about myself. And I was just saying, you, he's getting his nut. He's, you're saying that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. That yeah. You're, it's him, but no, he's fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're exactly. the one that's still not fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a good man, Savannah. That's a good man. <laughs> so I'm going to stay here. <laughs> because it's, because that's the thing. Because when we were do, on Ace Boys Worldwide, we used to have a theme, the hot seat with the Rios. And it was, it was something, I was a little uncomfortable with it or whatever, but we would, I would ask questions or whatever, like hot seat questions. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the girls would say that one, one of the common themes, and this is such a trip, is that they, they, Use the the rose. rose. A lot. A, a lot of girls use the rose. I and, never even seen it in person. Yeah. So <laughs> they all look at, and that's one. That's one thing that they had in common. And then say I did seven of those episodes, seven times where mm-hmm. we did the, the little segment. Team. Four girls said that they caught their men cheating with other men. I think this is the quietest we've ever been on this show. Um, <laughs> have you ever, you know, you, when we were talking about the stacking, that's like bulldozing. Um, okay. What is that game where you pull the, 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 the Jenga? Jenga. <laughs> but that was, a, it shocked me because, and look at this, the girls were very attractive. Yeah. Beautiful women that you would think that men would just be. I'm going to be honest. I think I've taken down some gay guys. Really? We've had this conversation and I like, I'm like, if I go through, I'm just like, hmm, could have been what, gay. But what makes you think that though? I have one guy. <laughs> Catch it, guys. Here it comes. Here it comes. Slow no, roll. No. Here it comes. No, I just, I had one guy and we were just hanging out one time and we had already hooked up and then he was just like, yeah, you know, you don't ask the right questions. And I said, what do you mean? And I know, I know we asked him fucking no questions. Um, and he was like, you got to ask the nigga if he's ever been to jail and how long he was in jail mm. and shit like that. And I was just like, oh, and I was like, have you been to jail? He was like, yeah. And I was just like, are you trying to tell me you're gay? You're trying to tell me you're gay. You should have told that me. That was in the back of your head? Yes. She put that. Because that's what he was telling me. He was like, you you don't ask the right questions. Like, like you need to know how long a nigga's been in jail for and, wh- like, what he was doing in there and shit like that. And I was just like, oh, I don't ask that question. I've mm-hmm. never asked that question. But, I, and, like... Let me write that in my new questions. Ask. That's one. But do you think that that's what he was alluding yes, to? No. Well, I why know. didn't you ask him how, how long... Did, did you ask there? that? You didn't. You I don't still need didn't to. ask the right question. I don't question. need to. I don't need to. I don't need to because you're telling me. You're telling me. And, and so just I from, just think you do a little gay shit. No, not like that. This okay? Like, no, I like, no. Okay. But um, let me see. What was something? <sighs> Try to. Um. So, so we were having an encounter. Hmm. And um, this is also the time that I think that I had sex with somebody and they were on the honey pack and or they were on something, but they didn't want me to know they were mm. on something. And <laughs> Shout out to the honey pack. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Shout out to the honey pack. Because he was having sex with me and when he was having sex with me, he kept saying like, it's still hard. And I was just like, why do you keep saying that? Like yeah. you're in shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, he was on the, the enhancement. 
Yeah. 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 And it was just weird. It just was like, I, you know, being a woman who's had sex with men, I know that every encounter is different, but this one was just different. Yeah. It was just different. It just was like, mm, you. I think you could be gay. Because he kept saying that? And then like just the, the positions that we were in for our sexual encounter. Oh, uh. That I would love to go further into that. <laughs> to oh wait, not further. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Not, not in that way. <laughs> not in that way. Like, what, how can a position like like no, that? Like, see, I don't. No, because like, see, I don't agree with that. Because how can a no, position because, with okay, a woman? No, because be okay, something. So let me just. We can do doggy. That's a common mm, position. Yeah. I have a tutor on me. People like to hit from. That's fine. Like yeah. that's completely understandable. Yeah. But when there's just like touching and caressing and holding that you can do in that way. And then there's other things. And it just was like, this is just not giving like what I've had. Yeah. So maybe it's just bad sex, but it just felt like, hmm. I am. have you been here before? It just felt like, I don't think you've been here before. Oh, it just felt like the, it was foreign. For, for like him. it was a new, but it, and but, you keep saying it's hard. Like you're going to get turned off by me. Like why? Cause I don't have a wing. Knee? Oh, like, okay. You're, okay. You're, okay. You're, I'm not like, Oh, so you said, I get what you're saying now. So you're saying like he hunt the honey pad to be able maybe? to achieve yeah. what he needs to do because he's trying to prove to himself. Okay, but the only thing about the doggy is that he would be very familiar with that position. I know, but or, it was like the way he, he or never mind. Like, cause you're not, you're oh, not it's in touching the wrong. me. Never mind. No, we're not. No, no, we no, no. I'm not saying. Okay, that. Not, <laughs> let me make it very clear. But look, we didn't go there. <laughs> but that's what it might have been. Is that and he was like, was that the jail dude? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's all these things. I was like, oh, mm, yeah. But now that you've stacked it up. <laughs> stack, stack, stack. Yeah, it sounds very. It could have been. Yeah, could have been. been could have been. been. But it was very. Damn, that's. I don't know. Yeah. He's still cool. With his short little ugly ass. But that was a common thing. Is that that's another thing that you guys are dealing with right now, is the competition from oh, other yeah. men. But I feel like don't even they y'all gonna be mad when. When what? I just feel like I've said it before that women are so bad at being women that niggas is out women in us. You heard it here on Imperfect Perspective. Javonda does not agree. <laughs> no, I, not that I don't agree. I don't like it. it I don't okay, like this. Because <laughs> I don't like this. They're, they're, but say it, say it one more time. Yeah, the I don't. I don't women, women are so bad at being women that men are out womening us. Like, you have a man who would rather be with a man because we're so awful. You can't comment on it, but <laughs> <laughs> you just, like, no, like, 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 you know what I mean? Like that sucks. You guys are welcome, but that is a true <laughs> statement because what are women doing so wrong? In your opinion, what are women doing so wrong? We're right being now? And this men. is not a woman bashing thing. No, we love not. women. It's not a woman bashing. We're being men. We don't know how to be women. As in what? Like it, because I don't want to be masculine. I don't want to be, but I am. I got a big back. I'm strong. <laughs> but no, for me, um, I feel like I don't. <laughs> what, was your, what was your thought? I was just laughing. <laughs> My Triple H back. But the biz back is bigger. <laughs> yeah, that's why, maybe that's why I like big back niggas to make me feel small. I miss you know who. I'm going to call him today. We're up to $10. No, we're not up to $10. I didn't say the name. It's okay. We know who you're talking about. I don't. She does. I think we should call from your phone. Why? Because he'll pick up. <laughs> and then I can it's, just trauma up everything. And, and then you can invite them to the show. I can, we can invite somebody to the show. Imagine we have the break. Oh, I would cry. So tough, Javonda. New topic. Back, women Is this are the, so the bad lap at sitting being... guy? The guy who sat on his lap? When the guy was outside? You were oh. Lap? Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what I'd be doing. <laughs> hey, what? hey, you're out here living a good life. <laughs> no, I'm, a, I'm not. I'm out here waiting for my husband. Which camera's mine? This one. 
This one. Okay, waiting for you. I love you. You're getting closer and closer every day. Every. I Every mean, day. also getting closer to death, but <laughs> you may be on your way to meet your man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior! That's a hey, pr- protective provider <laughs> and planner. <laughs> There's oh no better. My God. Oh my God! There's no better. He I'm knew not- the place he had for me. Yeah, I. The amount of hairs on my head. Hey. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, but the women, we just, we're just doing too much. We, we, as you can see, a lot of women are talking about being in their softer life. Mm-hmm. I'm her. Um, I just want that. Yeah. I don't want to do the masculine thing. No. But but it wasn't always that way. You you were you wanted to do the masculine things earlier, but now you. I didn't you, never. I actually never wanted to do them. I'm just so good at doing them. Yeah. But nobody was taking over them. Okay. And so now you're looking back on it like, damn, I've been doing this shit for a minute. Okay. That's a part of my. Yeah. That's a part of my midlife crisis. Okay. I was about to. T- I was about to literally about to say, it, but I didn't want to put you out. There. Yeah, that's part of my midlife crisis right now. Like yesterday, she had a she had a midlife crisis. Yeah. I was telling him a little bit. No, you didn't. Yeah, a little bit. I just said a little bit. I said I wanted to quit. <laughs> oh, I did. I did. <laughs> hey, that happens. Yeah. Shit, shit gets like, man, this is, I'm done with this shit. Like, it, if I could be done with this, I'm done. But I can't be done. <laughs> if I can't be done. Can't be done. I can't be can't done. Be done. <sighs> we could be, oh, I can't even finish it. I was going to say, we could be homeless. I can't. I can't either. I can't. Can't do that either. But do you not? Do you know how rare it is? Like this, I was talking to Luck about you two, and I was just like, two young women, business owners, entrepreneurs, single, no kids, beautiful, got the head on straight. Because we're men, and <laughs> because we're fucking men. You just described men. <laughs> That's a fucking problem. <laughs> you just described men with vaginas, like. Oh, I hate it out here. But the world made you this way. My daddy. The world made you this way. And us, is it is it men's fault for raising women like this? Like <laughs> Because we raise our daughters to not need a man. Well, and the thing is that it, it's okay because we don't, you don't have to like need them. That was the problem. We didn't have to need you, but the guys want to be needed so bad. Just come here. Job. <laughs> but we are definitely raising daughters to be men independent and yeah like that's what my dad we ain't watching me. no princess shit we ain't watch. you don't need no nigga to do this we watch princess you princess are watching movie. princess shit but you know what it's princess propaganda now because now my favorite one she's gonna be mad at me oh my gosh Moana I love it but all she's of independent she's by herself she's, she's leaving the world like you know what I'm like she's, she's not doing- listening to her dad <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> she didn't listen to her dad <laughs> He was just but trying to keep her safe. But he was trying to keep her from his lifestyle. Don't be right. mad. It's in our blood. Right. If we want to. Right. That was three for the hood. That wasn't three anything else. Three for the hood. Okay. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. So um, if she want to go out here, be a gang member. Like Brave is one of them. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, man. I, Mulan. I think, but, Mulan. But, Mulan went out there to be a man. Yes. She dressed <laughs> as a man. Yes. She went to go be one. Yeah. She, to she fight in the war. was strong. She could do a pull up. We can't do pull ups. Yeah, like, can't do pull up. No. Do you see? I I have a lot to pull up, <laughs> and not a lot up here to pull it with. Not my my baby, my baby <laughs> is <can't even. laughs> I be trying. I be trying. Yeah. You start with the resistance bands, like the no, bands. We're not even um, there. We still. We still. What about the, the thing you can assisted. put your knee on? We're, yeah, we're on the assisted machine okay. with the with the with the weight. Or be under the, the 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 bar and pull yourself up with your feet out. Oh, like she this. can do that. She can do that with your yeah. strong manly ass. I still can't get a pull up though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but back to what I was saying. I was giving you guys a compliment, and you called yourself men. No, I was just like you know that that's how you describe you. Thank but, you, thank you oh, because sorry. Was but, that a description of a man though? I mean, Two single, no kids, beautiful. Only thing, but what was manly about it was the entrepreneurship. Yes. 
business owners. Head mm-hmm. on straight. I don't, head on straight. <laughs> I wish Common you could sense, describe very a logical. Like <laughs> oh, only one. <laughs> only one. Only one. Common sense, look at things straight on, honest. But oh, you're not describing me anymore. <laughs> you've you've gone off. Right He's doing that thing. That's a good guy. That's a good guy. That's a good guy. But that's I was said when I saw you guys, I was like, damn, that's not something that I see every day. Two two good friends that are in each other's life that are living the way that you guys are living and they're are winning. You know what right. I mean? Like Thank you. With yeah, like I said, your head's on straight. You know what I mean? But let's let's talk about you. Let's you're a family man. Yeah. Homeowner. Mm-hmm. Multiple vehicles. Mm-hmm. Just listening off different ways that you provide. This that's top of the list. You know, you do a really good job. It was a journey. It was like I to be honest, like it was a, a real journey, but a lot of this is because of the woman in my life. A lot of this is because of my wife. Mm-hmm. It, I would say she, she like initiated the drive for for better for better shit for myself. You know what I mean? Like how did she because I feel like as women, we always see more in men. Mm-hmm. How did she say it to where you Re- believed it mm-hmm. and received it? Well, the first thing was wanting to reciprocate the love that she was showing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. wanting to be, I wanted to be for her what she was being for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I was just like blown away by the amount of love, the amount of support, the amount of trust that she was putting into me. And I wanted to do it the same. I wanted to be able to give that back to her because she was so deserving of it. So one wanting, you have to want, mm-hmm. you, you have to you want gotta, it. The guy, the man needs to want to do it first. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Mistake. You have to want first it. mistake. Yeah. And These then, niggas don't want to. <laughs> first, first. Okay. So we're never going to find a man. And, and before, even be, well, even the step before that, I wanted a woman. I wanted a woman. I prayed for, for my wife. You know what I mean? Like two, first, no, Wanting a second, <coughs> praying is okay. pray for that good woman that you want. Javonna can pray for her husband. Good, that's smart. Pray, pray. I prayed for my wife before I met her. Then, because I I was at the time I was at a place where I was like I'm not playing no games. Like, how I, old were you? I was 27. 27. So, so that's when you started wanting to. 27, JJ is now 18. Yeah, so 27, I was 27. And it was just like, just being single and single dad and just like, I don't want this life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I can't provide. And I wasn't a good dad. You know what I mean? Like, I was a good dad as in loving my child, like wanting to be there, protecting, do this, that. But I was still like, Come on, be tough, nigga. Like this and that, eating like fast food. I would get this nigga donuts after school, Skittles, just like doing stupid, yeah, like stuff that immature and like. And I was like, one night I was just like, my baby needs a different energy. Also, this can't just be the only energy that he's receiving, and and also I need a different energy. And I like it just had to come to God moment. It was like Lord, and went to Him. And prayed, and then when the first opportunity came up, I, I was like, I asked for this, and I'm gonna go full throttle with it because I'm not about to play a game with a Guys, blessing. You hear this, man? Praying, wanting, action. And so he's good at this. I went full throttle, and that worked out in our in our benefit. But then I just got to see who the woman was. I got to see how much she loved me, and the sacrifices that she was making for me, it was just like, if my wife left me right now or was gone forever, like out of my life, I would still sacrifice my life for her because I know she saved me from who I was. And so it's beautiful. Then like putting myself on the right path, like, okay, I want to make more money. I want to be able to provide, I want to do this. And it started with the, the want to have more, you know what I mean? To, to be able to give more to her and, just constantly climb that ladder and all along the way making mistakes because I was still that busted rock. You know what I mean? Like that was trying to be a gold nugget, but I still have the past that I'm dealing with and 
But once I broke away from the old habits and like some of the old traits and circles that I was around and removed myself from the environment, that's when it really just like took Mm -hmm. off and realized that, oh shit, I'm smart. Oh shit. Like I'm, I can have these conversations. Oh, like I never took the time to look at myself to see what was valuable about me. I was just like a fighter drinking. There's so many smart. Oh my God. It's, and it's like, they just haven't seen it in themselves yet. You know what I mean? And they just haven't had the time. Yeah. I, my wife gave me the opportunity to sit down and and be calm and relax and get to be peaceful. You know what I mean? And that I never had that for a long time. You know what I mean? Maybe since I was like a child or some shit. But coming up as a young man, it was just rah, rah. And being able to sit and sit and think and relax and be able to have the peace to be able to put some shit together to even think about the future, a lot of niggas don't have that time. Niggas don't have the 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 privilege or space to be like, let me sit down and think about this for a minute. You know what I mean? Let let me see how I'm being. And then teaching me about being dismissive, be, minimizing her actions, minim, and being dismissive of her actions in certain words and learning certain things through through psychology and therapy and the way the, the mind works. And it it fueled the fire in me to be a better person and. So yeah, that's okay. that's like the portion of it of what helped me get to where we are today. But also, none of this I don't have any of this without her support and without what she does. Also, like we built this together. Mm-hmm. I'm not the kind of nigga that's gonna be like, yeah, nigga, this is what I did. Like, nah, we did this shit together, and more so her because if she didn't be that rock, this shit would not happen. How long were you guys together before you were engaged or married? I think bef- b- before we got engaged, we were together a year. And then... Oh, you was really not playing. Uh-uh. I love that. Husband! <laughs> <laughs> we were together a year, engaged for a year, mm-hmm. and then got married. And so, um, I, my first date, I took my son on my first date. Where'd you guys go? We went to watch the fireworks and it was just, it was 4th of July. She had just got back from getting her master's with, uh, she had got her master's and her mom took her to like Europe for a month or whatever. Dope. And when she got back, I was like, um, let's go on a date. She was like, fourth, on 4th of July? I was like, yep. <laughs> like, you like kids? <laughs> you do now. <laughs> and she didn't know my friend that does. I was bringing my son. She didn't know I was, oh. and I, I was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> This is us. We get back this is the relationship, nigga. Like, <laughs> this, 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 this is us. If you want this, you have to want this. Yeah. And what I prayed to God, my prayer was, Lord, f- find me a woman that loves my son more than she loves me. Yeah. And that's the truest. Like, she loves him so much. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's just like, you know what? I'm here. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that's so nice. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I love a love story. I, you know me, I love love. That's yeah. the up. So here's the downs. <laughs> <laughs> that's too much. Look, for, that's too much for today. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna ruin my glow. <laughs> but it, like you said, it was just being ready, and and coming to a point in my life where I was like, "This is what I want." Mm-hmm. You can't force anybody to want something that they don't want sometimes you don't even know that you just you can want it but you don't even realize that you're not ready for it right you have to get your mind together exactly then you need to start taking actions actions action is everything like really action is everything because action is everything it is and your eyes who get stuck in the back of your head right (laughs) because you gotta actually do that (laughs) you gotta actually want what you pray for. You know what I mean? Like we could pray for something for 10 minutes, mm. but if uh, eight hours, if so eight cold. hours of our action in the day don't represent what we prayed for. Uh, Good. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. Lord, I want this. I want this. And then go around next morning and do the exact opposite. And this is for all of us. This is for everybody. Oh, mm-hmm. it's for everybody. It's for everybody. I, no, it's for everybody. Like, because I prayed, I want 
I'm ready. And you're gonna get what you what you pray for. Hey, it's gonna be manifest. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. And put your <laughs> put your focus and energy. So you're oh, being no, focus and energy. So wait, celibacy now. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What about it? <laughs> yeah, and what, nigga? <laughs> Keep y'all having a great time. <laughs> Fucking well, wasn't here. Well, well, it's still November. <laughs> yeah. What's that mean? Is, do have time? To no. Do it? Like, because you're part of the uh, no, oh, November. No. I'm just trying to better my life. It's not bettering. Though. It's not. How? It's fresh. You know, um, stay that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Low hanging fruit. Low hanging. I, had to get, I had to. I had to get it off. That was like the. Uh, <laughs> that was, that's what she said. <laughs> That was that was very was, very low uh, um, comedy. I I apologize. <laughs> very cheap. It was good. Um, it, was funny. It, was funny. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. It was a good one. Um, no, I just told Javada, I have no no roster, like none at all, and it's wild. Um, I gave my number to this guy. And we have been texting since like, <laughs> this is, these are the men. Let's talk about the men that are out here, right? Okay, I don't want to bash anybody, but I just, to, I gave my number to this guy. And we, <laughs> you, it's so trash. It's so trash. We were talking since October, October 23rd. And, um, no phone calls, just texts. I'm not going to say I was the best texter. I, it was kind of trash, but no I was. No phone calls. No, but I will say like. I was working a lot, so it, not like that, you know, it doesn't matter. I wasn't that interested. Let's just be for okay. real. So, because I'm on this new journey, and I told Javonda, 2025 is going to be me and Jesus and my business. And that's really all. So, I and so I was like, I got to start cutting people off now. And um, and I was like, I, I wanted to wait till the end of the year. But John was like, cut them off now. Like, fine, whatever. So I texted the boy and I was like, hey, I'm just going to be honest. Or um, I was like, can I be blunt? He was like, yeah. I'm like, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Um, I thought you were going to pursue me more and you have it, which is okay. The guy said that? No, I told oh, him. Oh, I was going to say. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's the first thing we would have talked about oh, when we got up here. <laughs> oh, shit. I was just like, um, I thought you were going to pursue me more and you have it, which is okay. I said, but I just don't want to waste anyone's time. So I'm, I still think you're very, very handsome and I wish you the best in life. And then he said, um, where are you at? I want to see you. And I said, no, thank you, but have a good night. Yeah. Because what? Yeah. You had your opportunity. You've had many opportunities. And you show me you're not the guy. And, I, and I'm, I'm not for. even the person like, like when I tell you I'm simple, I'm very simple. He mentioned hiking. I said, oh, let's go hiking. Like you don't have to trick on me like I I'm not gonna stop you but you don't have yeah, to exactly so like I'm very simple and and for me also those are some of the best I, dates anyway I'm not even that type of girl to go on a date with someone if I'm not interested I'll I'll talk to you for a little bit if we met today and you're like hey let's go on a date tomorrow I'm gonna be like mm, let me fill you out first yeah because I don't want to get in a situation where I'm uncomfortable yeah because I'm gonna see it through got to see it through so my you boy. felt him out so, and he was you I was like, yeah like, okay cool. yeah if you would ask me I would have gone out so for that to happen and then you just all of a sudden at the end just pre- like no it's okay yeah it's okay it's okay thank you though where are you so you, this I is- don't even want to tell you I was, <laughs> I was I, <laughs> he was a receptionist when I was going to get my pap smear at Kaiser <laughs> Anya he was handsome. He was handsome. They were good. doing they were doing my blood pressure and I was looking at him and I was like, is my blood pressure gonna rise? Yeah. I was like, they think it's not shit gonna go high because this man is how did, handsome. How did he get your number? He came up to you? No, this is what <laughs> You went up to him? <laughs> I gotta look, I don't have, we're adults. We are. You know, Kaiser, everything is all there. So I did the test. I said I wanted to do S T D testing so that I had to do the blood work. So I go to the lab. I'm like, hey, I'm trying to do my testing. And they're like, oh, they haven't sent it to us. Since it's all in the same building, I they called, they didn't answer, they called, they didn't answer. I said, okay, I'm about to go press them. So I walked back up there, and he was like, oh. Because because I saw how he was looking at me. Same but I day. Like a bug. Same day? Yeah, same okay. day. Same day. 
I came in there looking like a bum, but I, you know, I cute. So y'all don't know <laughs> men like women in relaxed yeah. clothing. Yeah. Well, no, like, I, honestly, I wasn't in relaxed clothing. I had, I had like volleyball shorts on, so I know what he liked. Yeah. Um, yeah. Duh. Duh. <clears throat> so when I came up there, he's like, what's everything? Okay. I was like, no, I was like, I'm trying to do my STD test and they're not trying to, they, you got to go talk to people, whatever, whatever. He was like, yeah. Um, he had a hot Cheeto clip. Thing. I said, not the hot Cheeto clip. And he was like, you like it? And I, you know, I'm, I flirt like a nigga. The hot Cheeto clip. I flirt like a, a nigga. I, so he was like, you like it? I was like, I was on the phone with a nigga. I said, hold on. I said, I like a lot of things. <laughs> I, I, when I, when I'm, and that's my problem. Yeah. And that's something else I'm learning in 2025. I will present and not pursue. Okay. So this is going to be a journey for all of us as we see this next year, how that goes. But I, I'm a nigga. And so you asked him for his number? Mm-hmm. He, he said something to me. He was like, oh, I was just, I was like, you're very handsome. And then he was like, oh, I was talking to my coworker about you. I'm happy you came back, blah, blah, blah. I was like, don't play with me. He probably told his gay homies about it. <laughs> that was, girl liked me. <laughs> think I should pursue it? <laughs> probably. Let's see what they're doing these days. Let's steal a few things. Mm-hmm. Let's see what it's like to be with a woman. <laughs> Never done that before. Go get a honey pack. <laughs> It's still hard. <laughs> Why do you keep... I was... Oh, oh. oh wait, so... I, I don't even want to get back on that, but... He was telling you or asking you? No, he... I don't know. He just kept saying it. Oh, okay. He just kept saying it. Was he all, did he have an earpiece in his ear? He just kept saying it. Like, he was... In, it was like he was shocked. Yeah. Like, he yeah. was he was going like a... But see, that's the part that makes me confused because I, I don't know what it's like to be on one of those because I'm a lady, but... um. I feel like it isn't supposed to be difficult for you to come. Yeah. But he was going a lot, but he just kept saying like, it's still hard. Maybe he wasn't going at all. Maybe he was faking it. He was telling himself so he could. Cause he kept making like, maybe, Oh, maybe he faked him. No, he wasn't, well, faking. There, no, he wasn't how, faking him. There he should was, be some aftermath of the fake. Well, see, I'm a lady. So everything is all contained. Mm. Yeah. I just think that he was saying it so that he could make himself go. Like he kept saying, like but he was lying. no, he kept ah, like he was wit. Maybe he was frustrated. Like he, he wasn't. He was going. <laughs> he was going. He was going, and he would be like ah. But if he wasn't he was changing like, containment, hard. though, you have to change containment. Do you? Are Should you just going to? You, what if that thing busts with all that up in the? <laughs> the it's like, oh, we have a baby for sure. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're not. Because if you if you have that. No, all that I know, but made of it. I don't think it's he, not a lot. I wasn't. think it's he's he's not no. going. Huh? He was roaring because he wasn't happening. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he probably never do that mm, shit again. Might have been free. I've never done it again. Him. Oh, <laughs> I only did it the once. So you got his number. Oh yeah, I got his number, and then and then that. Well, I wrote my number down on a notepad when he went back to go talk to the doctor, so I could go get my labs. Call me sometime. And then he texts me. And I was like, who is this? Is that the thing now? Is, is it is people don't talk on the phone? Um, or I was talking to somebody who was talking on the phone with me, but I don't do that much no like to talk on the phone. So I don't know. Yeah, like it's, it would seem have the and I this is what I used to tell my homies when we were younger. I was like, nigga, only thing that you're gonna do is talk your way out some pussy. I was like, if she got your number and she liked you from the front, from the jump, you got it. Mm-hmm. Only reason you don't get it is if you talk your way out of it. So stop talking so damn much. Chill out. Maybe that's why I didn't want the last guy. I didn't like talking about. Mm. It didn't happen though. But. But. He's gone. He's gone. Martin, Martin, yeah. They're all gone. I said goodbye to everybody. I got three guys coming for the next episode. Three single dudes mm-hmm. that are coming that we're going to. Grade and judge to see if they're willing to go out. If you're willing to go out on a date, with can them. we just, use a red balloon? No, I'm no. not doing a balloon pop. No balloon pop. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> but um, you're gonna be so nice. You're like all of them. They're all nice. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going on no dates with nobody. Oh, I'm me, not myself. going on any dates either. No, I'm not talking to her. Oh, it was a lie anyway. I'm not doing that. Okay. Like, yeah. So you're just really content finding who you are right now. I'm not content. I'm here. I'm not content. So why would you say I'm not going on dates? Well, no, because I'm, I'm, I feel like content. It's like you want, like you want that. Like, I don't really want this. 
but I have to do it. I have to be better. Why? <laughs> to be <laughs> better. To be better. <laughs> so, so you think. I do. <laughs> I think another fairy tale, like my husband sitting next to me. Stop. Stop. I do. No, I, you think so, not going on dates is going to help you find a husband? I do. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You have everything that you need already. You're enough already. All of us are. All of us are enough already. You are I, enough. This is, this is like, giving very cheesy pep talk. No, but why would you need to do anything to, like, what do you think you need to do right now? What is necessary of what you're doing right now? Um, I feel like my, my business needs to grow. I need, like, I just get easily distracted. I'm so my man, my Nigga. man, my man. I'm so my man, my man, my man. Uh-huh. Sound like a nigga. I need my business to grow. <laughs> like a man. You want a man, but you want to be a man. I don't want to be a man. I'm trying to grow my I business know. so I can be more of a man. No, because... <laughs> no, <laughs> they're, not, they're not saving me. I'm in distress. You want a damsel in distress? <laughs> Why save me? I'm in distress. I don't know. Do I need to shoot off a flare gun? Like, fucking help me. I don't know what more they want. No, so, no, no. So I have to save don't, myself. Don't, no, but the thing is, yes, we want to build our business. Yes, we want this and that. But you don't have to do that in an act of, like, mm. celibacy. Like, oh, I'm just going no, to be. There's a lot of things I thought about, but there she I'll save it. No, say it. Say it, big dog. No. I just chipped my tooth on this straw. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that shit hard as fuck. Could probably hurt it in the back. No. I heard it. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll save it for next episode. Yeah, we'll save it for next episode. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to remember it? Yeah, I'll write it down. Write it down. <laughs> Don't forget. Um. Yeah. That's how I feel. I'm just. I'm just working on me. We could do that and still be. But I, you know how with our ADD, how we have like our hyper fixations. Mm. I hyper fixate on the nigga. I can't do anything else. But remember, only oh, one L. Okay, only okay, one okay. L. Yeah, 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 yeah. My love, like logic, like only one thing at a yeah. time. Yeah. And if nigga is in my, like, I just focus on nigga. I want to. <laughs> What I do. <laughs> Nothing. I wanted to talk, but I just don't want to talk. But um, I recently cut somebody off, right? And um, I just told Javonda, I said, this is my first 24 hours in months that I've gone without talking to this individual. In months. And I said, and I, she didn't, I don't know if I expressed it to her in a way that w- where she would really grasp what I meant when I said it. But um, I had, like, no anxiety. Oh, no, I did. I know like, exactly what Like, about. when I woke you have up... anxiety all the time. <laughs> I so. had it all the time. So when I woke up that day, like, even though I care for that individual so, so much, to be able to go through my day without the anxiety and stress and worry of that individual. It, I hadn't felt like it just, I felt like what was that individual to you? What was somebody it? I liked? Oh, so just somebody that you liked that you were communicating with. Yeah. Somebody I liked a lot. Mm-hmm. But I was just like, I can't do this. Like I, and I had already kind of did a, a soft, like we can't, I said, because when you're calling me, it's like, I have expectations. Like I already know like, Oh, by 10, 10, we're going to have our good night conversation. And till 11 come, I'm looking like, hmm, that's weird. Like, that's how routine it was. Okay. So, so wait, what? Okay, I don't want to. No, it's okay. Go for it. Because I don't want to keep harping on, like, relationships and this, that. But oh, it's no, just very interesting to me. So, why didn't that relationship, like, go to the next level? Um, I don't think it was ever going to go to the next level. I think they very clearly told me what it was from the beginning. Um, Javonda is looking. I can tell. Don't look at her. Don't look at her. I'm looking too. Oh, are y'all? Oh, are y'all gonna do that thing again? So you put that energy into something that told you that this can never be. She's not manifesting correctly. No, she's not. She, she doesn't. She. I. 
I sent her something this morning. Hey, I got you, Anya. I got you for sure. Like you, you my little sis now. Like I'm not letting this. She's not manifesting properly, and I don't like it. So I just leave it. I leave it alone because she's gonna think how she thinks. She's gonna say what she wants. She's not gonna listen to me. No way. So it doesn't matter. It. It was. It. Yeah. I got you. We. We're good. We're good. We're good. Twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five is about to be amazing. Twenty twenty four is closing out. Great. Great. Christmas is here. Look at this. Fantastic. Pre Christmas. Pre Christmas. You're welcome. The best gifts you're you ever going to get. Doing Thank you guys. Pajamas? <laughs> Slick back what? buns, matching pajamas, high bun or low bun? Low. Okay. So look, <laughs> I you just gotta you gotta give them options so they feel like Yeah, that was a good that was a good trick. Like Wait, the first thing, definitely not high so, cause it, I'm that's an option, but uh, you we all are gonna go sleep low. <laughs> but because we're already doing it. But. Okay, so wait, we're doing so wait, is, was this the Thanksgiving's edition? This was huh? it no, was next, Happy oh, Thanksgiving yeah. to everybody because yeah, happy Thanksgiving. because this will come out on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And then Thursday, following Thursday is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. I am grateful for you guys. I'm grateful, We're grateful for, you guys. for meeting guys. you. Yeah. I'm always grateful for you because you are my We're friend. so you can't close leave. to the end of the episode. Please, no tears. I'm not. You can't leave. And now you can't leave. Mm, wow. No, no. We're in each other's <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> wow. Isn't this so great? So great. I'm really excited. I've met some amazing people but in 2024. And now I get to build with these people in 2024. Yeah. And this is a beautiful, amazing thing. It is. And I thank you guys for, for coming and, all, and being a part of this. And us building a show together, so yes, because this it. is ours. It is. This is ours. So, oh, in house. perfect perspectives. Episode three, we are out. We're out. Like, comment, share, subscribe, tag a husband that's not somebody's husband but wants to be a husband who isn't just no, we're a building, really great guy. <laughs> no, no, we're building our business. <laughs> <laughs> we are <laughs> we're building our business don't don't worry guys we're 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 building. working on it we are but man i'm really excited to see i got some growth. great ideas though also just so y'all know that i want to talk about when we get off okay we got okay. some good ideas um to discuss and we need to take our lunch and go over some things <laughs> oh, when we said take our lunch like does right. that work? It's definitely an unpaid lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But this is Imperfect Perspective with Javonda Anya Rios. We'll Fucking see you guys love next it. Time. See y'all yes. next time. Yes.